Did you know that over a third of all home buyers are buying for the very first time? Many of them belong to the millennial generation. That's the largest single group of buyers, which makes them particularly important to maintaining a healthy housing market and all of our home values. After all, can you imagine what would happen if one in every three buyers disappeared from the market? That's exactly what happened when the economy tanked. First-time home buyers dropped to the lowest level seen in over three decades. Aside from that blip, their influence has been growing over the past 15 years and is expected to grow. Between 6 and 17 million first-timers may be looking for homes over the next five years. That's why our nation's leaders place so much emphasis on policy that helps ensure first-time buyers who work hard and prove their responsibility are able to access the American dream of home ownership and continue to help support housing markets and home values in all of our communities. So what types of policies can do this? Perhaps that list is topped with policies that allow attainable down payments realistic debt-to-income ratios, and underwriting that makes sense in a real world. Another top focus for policymakers seeking to ease the way into home ownership for first-time buyers is student debt. Young people who are making the right decision of going to colleges, paying student debt on time, it is delaying home ownership entry point uh, by roughly five years. Some of the hurdles first-time home buyers are facing Number one is um, being able to qualify for a loan. They are challenged with um, student debt, and they're challenged with income, meeting their requirements. But they tend to work through those um, obstacles pretty rapidly. Most of the challenges that you find millennials face is having the money. The second one, uh, one of the other primary things is, is having the credit. The size of a down payment matters because it, uh, one, it can affect your rate, it can affect your mortgage payment, and can it affect how much house you can afford with the, the way things are going and the, the younger generation getting out of college and with uh, you know, large uh, debt student loans, um, they can't afford to buy their first home and parents are co-signing or helping them with a gift letter to purchase their home. First time buyers are a smart crowd. The most common first timers are college educated couples in their 30s. Over 60% of them have at least a college degree, compared to only 12% in the 1980s. Maybe that's why 15% of today's mortgage holders are carrying student debt with an average balance of almost $35,000. That's more than double the past 10 years. It's understandable that about 50% of millennials and two-thirds of non-millennials with student debt say they're uncomfortable taking on a mortgage, too. Tell us what you think about policies addressing financing, student debt, and other barriers to first-time home buyers, or email your questions 